election interference. They're trying to stop this guy from being able to run. And what is happening is backfiring in the best way possible. So, you know what? I, I'm kind of grateful that this is happening, and I hope that <laughs> they get what is coming. Mm-hmm. One hundred percent. Um, for me, is yeah, I agree with you one hundred percent on what you were saying, Lorena. Um, but it's one of those things where you can tell who is on whose side <laughs> based off of what yeah. comes after. You know, um, so obviously Donald Trump has a lot of enemies. So yeah, it would be completely different if that was his name versus um, Clinton got a lot of friends. You know, and not only that, like you said, he has better accountants. He has a better team of people who know how to make things disappear completely, including people if we need to, right? You know, so um, so that's always good. You know, when you when you have those things in place, especially if you know you know what type type of um, things you're into, you know? So, like I said, I think it's one of those things. But here's what I will say. I will say that even with them doing all this to Trump, I think it's just a testament that he um, is somebody who can overcome, shoot, just about everything <laughs> based off of, you know? Because it's, it's nowhere near as bad, but they're definitely trying to find every stunt and every crazy thing to, to try to derail him. And it's not working. So, that if anything, that's the testimony. You know, so. The conversation about the whole situation, because election is getting closer, mm-hmm. is getting more and more intense. So, more than likely, we also going to have to intensify mm-hmm. uh, some of the things that are taking place to be able to communicate this message uh, effectively. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's two things that I want to tell you uh, in, in addition to what we spoke about in, in, in reference to this whole situation. One of them is the fact that, and again, I want to repeat the statement, right? When he came out, and he makes a statement saying, what they are doing to me mm-hmm. is not just being done to me, it's actually being done to you. Imagine what will happen if there would be the resilience of this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These guys were able to get Mitt Romney to quit his elect- presidential run. Political. Based on, based, on, based on the fact that he was moving from one place to the other and another dog story came out. That he put, you, you know how you put your dog in, you know when you're flying, what, what do they call those things that you put your, your dog into? The crates. The crates, right? Mm-hmm. Well, when you're driving, you can put them in the crate. You can also put it on top of the car. Like, you know what I mean? That, some people will do that. It's, they, they'll secure it, safe. Not in the truck. Secure, <laughs> they, they, they secure it, you know okay. what I mean? It's safe, you know what I mean? It's, it's safer than being in a freaking plane, right? Okay. But, but that was enough to accuse Mitt Romney of animal cruelty he couldn't stand the heat. Mm-hmm. Like when somebody says to me, why did he literally almost gave up the run mm-hmm. halfway through? This guy at some point was absolutely winning. Yeah. Barack Obama was about to lose to that guy. Yeah. With the help of the press and with the help of all of that animal cruelty accusation, the man said, listen, you know what? Peter won. It's like, uh, you know, like, let, me, let me stop. This guy is saying, you might as well throw the whole kitchen at mm-hmm. me yeah. because the kitchen sink is not enough. I can take it. I can handle it. It's part of life. Yeah. Been here, yeah. done that, and now now that you're creating, again, that level of sympathy. The second thing is, man, our founding fathers, the wisdom. Mm. You're talking about people that were like 25, 26, 28, 30-something years old. The, the wisdom that they have. When it came to structuring, uh, you know, today Patrick was running an interview uh, with uh, a group of People, they have a valuable opinion. Some of them, you know, the son of uh, Bolsonaro was there. Mm. Uh, and, and people that do have some kind of political, some of them still, three of them are still in Brazil. And the other guy was one of the guys that we were together on the same podcast, uh, who actually is in the United States because he's not able to go back to Brazil because the moment that he steps in there, they're going to arrest him mm. for his guts to, again, pu- public opinion and to call out the government. So, but they were explaining how the election process works in Brazil, right? By the way, fully computerized, which you you think about, what do you mean? This banana republic country is, we still doing paper ballot? Mm. They were saying, thank God you guys are doing paper ballot. They're Mm. like, what do you mean? Right? So, electronic, but it's not electronic that is centralized by state. Mm. It's not electronic that's centralized by delegates. It's not electronic that is, I, I mean, it goes all of it to a single place. Mm -hmm. And in that single place, there's a group of people who will decide who won and who lost the election. 
Mm. Make no mistake about it. There's a group of people that would love to see that kind of power to be developed in our country. We better be freaking careful. Mm. We better be extremely careful about the shit that we're doing here because there's a group of people that would love to see every single vote to mm-hmm. go into this, Otherwise, this, this people let's, voting is gonna be let's turn it into popular vote forget mm-hmm. about this let's turn it into popular vote right so that it, all of it can go through a single place and there's going to be a handful of people that will decide <laughs> who won and who lost the election and everybody has to accept it because supposedly it was done cleanly uh, guys final thoughts well uh, if you don't appreciate America for what it is, just listen to what you just said about this guy that is in a podcast that has to stay <laughs> in another country because he just go had back. the guts to speak. He didn't burn the flag. Against the He didn't misspell the name government. of Brazil. He didn't, actually, he knows how to spell it properly. <laughs> he never burned the flag. Love his country. Can't go back to it. Yep. That's funny. But outside of that perspective, I say hire a good accountant <laughs> and a good lawyer. Uh, if President Biden <laughs> says you got a friend in me, don't believe him. Don't call it vacation. <laughs> don't call it vacation. <laughs> Hooker. Put it. Can just make sure it is like yeah. yeah. Yes. Label yes, it yes. correctly. Correctly. Jesus. Correct accounting. Right. Uh, if 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 Biden goes, uh, what is it? Toy Story on you and says you've got a friend in me. Don't believe him. And then the last one, the number one thing that you should be concerned. Don't believe the Wall Street is doing amazing. Mm. Uh, believe on what's happening on my street. <laughs> and it's not my street, it's your street. I wanted to your argument at the very end. Uh, I like yeah. attacking no, you. No, like, I'm see just that? telling you. See that? Here no is, and if you don't want to believe, if you want to corro- corroborate what's happening in your street, go drive by strip malls. Go drive, not strip, clubs. strip bars. Malls, right? <laughs> like the little malls that have multiple. Too much Stormy Daniels uh, <laughs> know, conversation. Right? Uh, no, but but confused. go through there and see how many businesses have changed in the past, in the last four years, in the last two years. Go see and see how many new businesses are popping up there, and it's not because the economy is booming. It's because the old businesses weren't able to make it happen. So guess what? Walmart's just keep on getting bigger and bigger. And that means that more AI jobs and self checkout aisles are gonna be happening. Fair enough. So, yeah. um, so for me, I would say this. I think the biggest thing that um, you gotta pay attention to is what team of people are around you. You know, and I think it's super important. Not only do you develop your team, but you gotta always be um, not only um, like building your team, but making your team better. You know, and I think the people that are successful in this world, whether we're talking about good or bad people, they're able to do that because they have the right team around them. So then for you, like Lorena said, which I do agree with, it's not about what's going on in the world, but it's what's going on in your world. You know, that's only going to happen in the way you want it to if you have the right team of people around you. So I think it's super important that, as always, you know, you got to... Um, Take control of your family. Take control of your household. Do the things you can do to make your world better. And that's going to come from 100% having the right team of people. And that's going to change everything. For me, I I think this is a reminder that what makes uh, people that are running for the presidency and and, and you want people to be strong and resilient, uh, either you have a group of people that will be protecting you all the way to make it happen, and that's not an easy team to assemble. You got to be in the right um, group of people making noise, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I absolutely welcome the idea of a lot of noise about our topic because I don't care who you are, you can piggyback on that and still turn it into, hey, pay attention to the right thing. But that's one way of getting there. That's mm-hmm. the, to realize that in this country, there's a lot of other interest outside the population interest for who's going to become the next president that there's a lot of people that are playing a different game almost mm-hmm. uh you know behind curtains you know what i mean and and they're always bringing it back down to it so who the hell is running the country right and and that's a crazy question to be thinking about after this many years in the country but to know that there's some dark forces out there and there's sometimes you know unfortunately happen to be wrong uh, and, and I wish that we're able to get it right 100% of the times because I can get behind it. I don't, I don't care if there's a Wizard of Oz somewhere uh, as long as you uh, have an American first uh, uh, clear position, as long as you are going to help our children, respect our country and the flag, and, and literally to love the things that we still have the ability to offer um, to the rest of the planet. 
The second way is you get there by being resilient, mm -hmm. by being able, by making it very clear that you're going to have to kill me at this point. And, and I think that everybody, at least in my case, I already came to the conclusion that even if this man was locked up, he's still going to get elected as mm -hmm. president. I don't think that that's going to be enough to stop him from becoming the next president. I don't want to say it's a done deal, but it's as close as you can possibly be to a done deal. You're going to have to kill this man in order to, and God willing, that will never even come, hopefully, uh, become a reality. But, but that kind of resilience, I don't care how much you dislike his personality. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much dislike he has successfully, thanks to the help of many stupid people mm -hmm. that forgot about the Bill Clinton movie, that, that created that much level of sympathy out there, are forgetting that, that you're doing exactly the same for the benefit of Donald Trump, that went from just being a, a, uh, a guy that everybody believes that can produce better policies for the country, domestic and foreign, and you move them from that logical conclusion, practical conclusion, and you took it to an emotional level. Now is Saint Donald Trump. Make sure I get a tiny percentage of those candles, Donald. Make sure I get a piece of the action because that's going to be a phenomenal business. I can see it. I can see the line of candles. What was it? Jesus. Baby Jesus, mm -hmm. Virgin Mary, Maria Teresa de Calcutta. Got it. And Donald Trump. With that being said, comment. Let us know what you're thinking <laughs> about some of these topics that we spoke about. Uh, if you like, please uh, like and share. Pass it along, right? Thank you for helping us grow this beautiful community. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Take care.